Hi, I'm Nicole Backerman. And I'm Chad Backerman. Uh, we're Caveman Cuisine from Carthage, Missouri. Uh, we support OBR, which is Operation Barbecue Relief. Uh, started in Joplin after the tornado in 2011. A um, bunch of barbecue cooks got together in the parking lot of Toys R Us parking lot and set up for two weeks and served food. And from there it has grown and we have done over 750,000 meals, mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe. Um, this weekend we're getting ready to celebrate the five year anniversary of the Joplin Tornado and OBR. So as soon as we leave here, we're heading up to Joplin for a, a reunion for the OBR team. And then um, Sunday, we're helping cook to feed about a thousand meals to the people of Joplin. Uh, if you would like to sign up to join OBR or to help donate for the cause, uh, you can go to operationbarbecuerelief.org and all the information is there. No, this is uh, nationwide. They have volunteers needed all over um, the United States for disasters of any kind. So wherever you're at, you can sign up and help. Hi, my name is Paul Peterson. I was a 2015 Volunteer of the Year for Operation Barbecue Relief. We're out here on a beautiful day in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, our organization started here five years ago with uh, much different weather under much different circumstances and we're just here at uh, remembering what happened with the local community again. Um, I got involved with Operation Barbecue Relief not during this deployment but actually in more that was three years ago yesterday is when uh, it started for me and uh, I've been uh, active ever since. We have uh, roughly about 3,000 volunteers nationwide that help our organization. We're an all-volunteer uh, group, and we're always looking for more volunteers. Even if you're not a barbecue person, we have probably five to ten people behind the scenes uh, that you don't see on the front line with these uh, fantastic cooks that we have with us, and, and we need uh, volunteers from all walks of life in all different capacities. Uh, very proud to uh, represent Operation Barbecue Relief and uh, uh, if you want to uh, volunteer the best way is to go to our website Operation Barbecue Relief or it's Operation BBQ Relief dot org and uh, click on the volunteer button and uh, that's the best way to get into the system. If you know somebody that is uh, already uh, in uh, in the uh, as a volunteer, contact them as well, and uh, we'll be getting back with you. and And that's the first steps to getting into the system is to go to the website and click on the volunteer now button. Even uh, being not being on a deployment because we get all those things lined up ahead of time so that when a deployment hits, uh, we're ready to go. Um, we we are initially the reason that that's important is because we come out as the first responders uh, immediately after a disaster happens, and we have we have to have those names and contacts already in the system, and uh, so that we can deploy and and uh, and get activated as quickly as we possibly can. My name is Frank Schaefer. I'm uh, from right here in Joplin, Missouri. Um, actually got involved with. Uh, Operation Barbecue Relief uh, before it actually became a full-blown non-for-profit. A uh, bunch of barbecue cooks came down after the uh, May 22nd, 2011 tornado and after we lost our home at 27th and Pearl and <clears throat> after getting everything gathered up, uh, taken care of for ourselves, I thought what better way to give back to the community that I live in than to go out and help support and feed the people of my community. So on that, I believe Friday, I went over and started volunteering with uh, the group of guys that were here to cook. And um, since then, obviously we've grown. 
full-blown non-for-profit. Um, we've responded to many disasters, hurricanes, fires um, in many different states. So now, basically, I've been to more since um, since that deployment, um, and I've been to um, reading Kansas as well. And so what it does for me, OBR, it's just so important in my heart to give back to others, knowing that we lost everything and there's people that are involved in these disasters that I feel like I can communicate with and have the same feelings, know what they're going through, comfort them at the same time. And so one way um, you can definitely support Operation Barbecue Relief, which is a full-blown non-for-profit, um, we rely on uh, donations and fundraising, and that is very important to keep the doors open and keep, obviously, all of our meals are free. We respond to disaster, which takes a lot of funding, and so one way you, that you can support us is at uh, obr.org, um, and donations are greatly appreciated. Um, I believe uh, everything, it runs through PayPal and credit card both. So, um, and, and we're constantly needing donations um, because this past year has been pretty slow as far as natural disasters, but when one hits, it depletes the funds very quickly. And so I'd love, just like as I do, support and volunteering. Um, we love the donations and we love the support, the volunteers, um, and it's very dear to my heart. Hi, my name's Erica Schaefer. Welcome to Joplin, Missouri, five years later. Um, my family was affected by the tornado on May 22, 2011, and we are here to celebrate. And I'm part of the OBR team family. My husband volunteers his time whenever he can. When there's a natural disaster, he goes and deploys with the team. And I support him and what he does and what they all do. It's an amazing organization. They're feeding lots and lots of people. Um, oh, he's, he's deployed about three times. I know uh, OBR started because of the Joplin tornado and it's um, just become a big, big deal. And uh, today we're expecting to feed about 600 people. Last night we had a big turnout as well for, for the community party here. Um, 300 they were expecting and it ended up being about 500. So um, we're just happy to be here and enjoy the beautiful weather. My name is Dwayne Daniel. I'm the Arkansas State Lead for Operation Barbecue Relief. I live in Jonesboro, Arkansas. The reason I got involved with Operation Barbecue Relief was just to be able to, uh, to help folks in need. My mom and dad raised me right. Uh, I always tried to help anybody that I could and I turned a passion that I have of barbecue cooking into helping other people. The way to get involved with OBR, just get out and do it. Anybody that says, you know, we can't cook, we ain't got the equipment, you don't need it. All we need is somebody that's got a, a warm heart and wants to help people. It takes many, many people to do a deployment. Uh, people don't realize it is it's the, it's the taking out of the trash. It's the spooning the vegetables into a clamshell. There's many, many tasks uh, that we need besides the cookers. Anyway. Go to the Operation Barbecue Relief website, www.operationbarbecuerelief.org. Thanks. Hi, I'm Shane Petzold. We're here at uh, Joplin at Cunningham Park for the five-year anniversary of uh, the Joplin Tornado and uh, Operation Barbecue Relief. I'm on the board of directors. I'm in charge of our facilities and equipment. I was actually in Joplin when the tornado came through, uh, coming home from a barbecue contest, contest so it hit, hit uh, close to home. For me, uh, my in-laws are 15 minutes from here, so Joplin's always kind of been a second home. So I knew I had to come back and help when uh, these guys were looking for people to come down and help feed these people five years ago. I, I knew I had to come, and uh, we loaded up and came back down, and here we are now, five years later. So, oh, we always have an equipment needed list. I mean, we're right now uh, we're we're looking for uh, donations to get some trucks. We have a lot of trailers donated, and uh, not a lot of trucks to pull them with. Uh, we have warehouses in a couple different places across the country. We have one in Peculiar, Missouri, and uh, one in uh, Memphis. And uh, yeah, we're always needing donations for that kind of stuff. It's www.operationbbqrelief.com. Uh, you can donate there. You can sign up to volunteer. You can see where we've been, see what we're doing. Uh, 